Hi guys, Claire Staines here. I'm going to speak to you today about trigger stacking and hopefully explain it in a way that makes it really easy and almost like some sort of dodgy blue Peter science lesson. However, this empty tub here resembles my dog's limits. So this, what can be held inside this container is my dog's limit. If my dog goes over the limit, then it means they're over threshold. So over threshold means that they get either over aroused, over excited, really scared. This can lead a dog to aggressive behaviours or overstimulation, which can lead to a whole lot of problems. So this is my dog's limit. All right, so we'll put that to the side for a second. Beside me, I've got things. So I'm going to use the, the thought that my dog is frightened. Okay, so beside me, I've got things that scare my dog. So inside this cup, is my dog's fear of high vis jackets. Inside this cup is my dog's fear of children. And inside here is my dog's fear of fireworks. So reasonably frightened of high vis or reasonably nervous of it, reasonably nervous of children and really, really frightened of fireworks. Okay, so they are all different volumes and that's, you know, different levels of fear. So if I bring back my dog's limits again, and we go out one evening, about this time of year, and there's council workers and they're wearing high vis. So my dog's here. So as you can see, not too, too bad, copable with, workable with, and that's okay all by itself. So if I was just to stay there and meet nothing else that frightened my dog, we would be, we would be fine. My dog would be, you know, nervous for a little while and then we'd work through and we'd be fine. So we've done that and then we walk further down the road and we bump into some kids. So we've got one kid and we'll add another one in because there's a group of children. So we're already up there. We're getting closer to my, my dog's limits. If we had not had the high vis person, it would have been, you know, a third less. If we had only had the high vis and one child, we would have, you know, been a third less as well. So I'm sure you get the picture here. So if we were to return home right now, my dog would probably go home feeling a bit like, no, nah, that wasn't such a good walk, but we would be okay. We would be fine. But as we continue walking, fireworks go off. I can't even finish it. Look. It is overflowing. That is my dog reached its limits. And that is what trigger stacking means. I measured this out and this alone was just enough to fill that. So if my dog's frightened of fireworks, I really shouldn't be going outside. That's the crux of it. But because I can't control an environment and there could be other things out there, then we just shouldn't take our dogs out during fireworks. That is trigger stacking. When we put lots and lots of things together, and they culminate and they cause a boom and an overflow, an overspill. And that's quite often what causes um, aggressive type behaviours as your dog basically trigger stacking. Okay, I hope that makes it clearer for you. And any comments and suggestions, pop them down. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks now and happy training.